who typically would people who typically wouldn't attend an iftar, people who typically wouldn't attend programming, they come out of uh, what seems like nowhere. And there's this blessing in Ramadan that those who maybe didn't show their Muslim identity as much have the confidence and the courage to allow the state of their iman to show in public. So we've been seeing hundreds of students every day for iftar. We've been seeing students come out for tarawiyah who never had a community before. So it's a beautiful kind of presence to be in. And what I wanted to really reflect on, though, was a statement I've been hearing a lot first and foremost from the faculty and staff that I work with, is we didn't realize how many students observe Ramadan was something they were saying. Um, because when we were having conversations with them to open up the dining hall early for suhoor and keep the dining hall open late um, for the students who are residents on campus so that they can have their iftar and suhoor at least have to-go boxes for them, they said, we didn't realize. And that's a theme that just seems to be coming through this Ramadan of we didn't realize, we didn't realize. And it got me thinking that, subhanAllah, that's one of the goals of Ramadan. One of the goals of Ramadan, as especially we're in these last couple of days of Ramadan, is this idea of we're trying to really realize the role of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of our lives, the role of our connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in everything. Isn't that what taqwa is at the end of the day? And of course, as we search for the night of power, Laylat al-Qadr, that's also what Laylat al-Qadr is, is this idea of the day of, we sometimes say there's power of approximation, but what is Qadr at the end of the day? A point, uh, assortment, that how much is each thing worth is determined. And the night where we do that is we, um, we oftentimes get asked that question, when is Laylat al-Qadr? And I, I find that very interesting that that's a common conversation. Even today, I received a bunch of pictures from the sun this morning that people are saying, look, in New Jersey, it was a very red sun and it rained the night before. So maybe that means it was Laylat al-Qadr. And I always have to respond with, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ That we always ask, مَتَى لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ When is the night of power? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks what? What is the night of power? Because what were we supposed to appreciate what the night of power actually means? And why I wanted to connect that with this is as we are navigating through the month of Ramadan, what should be happening to us is many of these I didn't realize moments. Because when we have those I didn't realize moments, what that's also telling us is this is what I should have realized a long time ago. That's really the approach of what we're discovering about ourselves. I actually even recently had, uh, we had a Qiyam, alhamdulillah, on campus. I mean, which students, normally we have tarawiyah, but students stayed until Fajr and we stayed doing ibadat and reflections um, and Quran circles. And uh, one of the students for the, uh, the first time heard as-salatu khayru min an nawm in the adhan for Fajr. And uh, normally this is a student that mashallah does attend Fajr, but they get to Fajr really late as most of us do. We don't hear the adhan of Fajr in the masjid because we're not there that early. We just catch the end of it. And the student said, what was that being said? And I, uh, I, I told them it's actually, it's something special for the Salah of Fajr where we say that instead of just hayy ala al come to success, because normally when you're coming to prayer, you're coming from one activity to another activity. But when you're coming for Fajr specifically, most of us aren't doing something beforehand, we're in sleep. So we add an extra line to it, as salatu khayru min an nawm salah is better than sleep. And suddenly that student told me, it really hit me tonight. And why it hit me tonight is we've been up the whole night and I'm very sleepy at this point. So when I hear salah is better than sleep, it hits me differently. And to me, it came down to that same thing. That's qadr right there. That's the idea of she appropriated and approximated correctly that statement. And that's actually what we're all called to do, inshallah. Um, as we also search for the night of power, why is it called Laylat al-Qadr? Because it's also the day or the night in which we do what? We appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to a higher degree than we had before is part of the legacy of Laylat al-Qadr. So as we search for that, inshallah, that's what I want us to keep in mind as a quick reflection, that it's us rediscovering for ourselves, of course, where Allah, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and what it means for me to be in relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with those that bring me closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course, with the sunnah of our messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the history of believers that came before us. So with that, inshallah, if you could join me, inshallah, in a dua, um, make dua knowing that you believe in a Lord that is going to answer your dua, who wants to listen to you and who loves to hear from you. And we, may Allah make us those that love to hear from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well as we've been continuing with our Quran recitation this Ramadan. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من القاسدين يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاف عني اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاف عني اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاف عني ربنا عأتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وادخلنا جنة الماء الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربي جعلني مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتي ربنا وتقبل دوا ربنا اغفر لي ولوالدي وللمؤمنين يوم يكون حساب رب رحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا يا الله يا رحمن يا رحيم يا رب العالمين we call upon you through all of your beautiful names and attributes يا الله you are strong we are weak يا الله you are knowledgeable we are confused يا الله you are self sufficient we are dependent يا الله we are weak, Ya Allah. You are strong, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, you are the one who loves, Ya Allah. Teach us how to love the people in our lives that we're supposed to love, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us amongst those who try to earn your pleasure in every single moment, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, accept from us these fasts that we've tried to do, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, accept from us the Quran that we've tried to increase in recitation in this month, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, accept from us the charity that we've given this month, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, accept from us the things that we have left behind in order to get closer to you this month, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, some of us have given up listening to things we weren't supposed to listen to. Ya Allah, accept that from us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, some of us have given up looking at things we weren't supposed to be looking at in order to get closer to you. Accept that from us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, some of us have held back our tongues so that they, they may only speak words that are that earn your pleasure, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, accept that from us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, all the things that we have left behind this month in order to get closer to you, Ya Allah, give us the ability ability to keep those things away from us even after this month, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us amongst those that search for the night of power in this month, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us amongst those that get to Laylat al-Qadr and get accepted ibadah on the night of power, Ya Allah, so that you may reward us with reward khayru min al fishahr with reward more than the worship of a thousand months, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us amongst those who get that jewel of Ramadan, Ya Allah, and get this moment of really appreciating our relationship to you in this month, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, as it has been said, Ya Allah, that in Laylat al-Qadr, in the night of Laylat al-Qadr, you send your angels down, you send Jibreel alayhi salam down to witness what we are doing. Ya Allah, make us amongst those that you are pleased with on that night, Ya Allah. And Ya Allah, on that night, is also that night in which our, our deeds are written for the next year, for our, the rest of our lives, Ya Allah. Make us amongst those who are recorded as having changed our trajectory so that our station with you increases because of our worship in that night, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us not those who you have told us about in the Quran, that didn't appropriate and appreciate you, Ya Allah, for who you are, Ya Allah. Make us amongst those that have recognized you and increased in our recognition of you through our ibadat this month of Ramadan, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, bless us and our families, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make our families the coolness of our eyes, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, through the practices of this month, allow us to be more present and available for our family members, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, through our ibadat and increased ibadat, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, allow us to be at more service to the community around us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, through us, become allow us to become vehicles of others experiencing your mercy and your blessings, Ya Allah. And Ya Allah, make us amongst those that as we experience your blessings and your mercy, that we increase in gratitude, Ya Allah. And Ya Allah, make us amongst those that when trials come, that we know come from your love to make us grow, that we respond with patience, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us amongst those, Ya Allah. Make us amongst those who you are pleased with, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, allow us to be amongst those that follow the sunnah of your messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Allah. The empathy and kindness he showed to, to humanity, Ya Allah. You have called him Ra'uf Rahim. You have called him the one that is the source or, or the one who gets you to mercy, Ya Allah. Allow us to be amongst those that live in the footsteps of our messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Allah, make us messengers of the messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us the ability of 
gaining taqwa through this month, ya Allah, and awareness that we have while we are fasting, but also allow us to carry that taqwa onward, ya Allah, to have our lives lived better at the end of Ramadan than we were in the beginning of Ramadan. Ya Allah, allow us to be amongst those that came into Ramadan with maybe some sins on our back, but we leave the month of Ramadan with no sins, ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us amongst those who maybe walked into Ramadan with some ill feelings in our hearts towards people but allow us to forgive people in this month of Ramadan so that we can have forgiveness from you Ya Allah Ya Allah we ask for your maghfira Ya Allah Ya Allah we ask for you your forgiveness Ya Allah we ask for you your mercy Ya Allah and Ya Allah we ask the one of the things in the last 10 days of Ramadan, we ask for you to save us from the punishment of the hellfire Ya Allah save us from all punishments that we um have have earned in in this life and save us from the punishment of the hellfire ya allah and ya allah we are not deserving of your mercy ya allah but you love to forgive ya allah you love to give mercy ya allah so make us amongst those that receive your mercy ya allah allahumma inna ka afu and tuhibbu al-afu wa fafu anni oh allah you love to forgive. Oh Allah, you are the forgiving. Oh Allah, you love to forgive, so forgive us, Ya Allah. Allow us to be amongst those that constantly say those words and especially say those words as we search for the beautiful night of the night of power in these last couple of nights of, of, of Ramadan. Ya Allah, allow us to have salam when he hatta matla il fajr. This idea of peace be upon the ones who, of course, stand up in the night until Fajr on the night of power. But also, if we translate Fajr as who have that new opening, allow us to have a new found appreciation for who you are, a new found appreciation for our lives, having found the night of power. Ya Allah, allow us to be amongst those that peace is given onto up until the breaking of the dawn. I mean, Rabbil Alameen. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ka anta samiyu laleem wa tuba alayna inna ka anta tawab al-Rahim. Bismillahi rahman rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman rahim Maliki yawm al-Din. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Sirat al-Ladhina namta alayhim ghayr al-Maghdubi alayhim rabbi Jazakallah khair, uh, Brother Kaiser Aslam. So, inshallah, we will meet tomorrow, uh, Dr. Yunus. Uh, today it was our fifth session. Tomorrow night will be our sixth session of Ramadan Reflections and Dua. So, till tomorrow night, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.